High five. Nate Diaz is no stranger to a bit of non-sanctioned action. This is, after all, the man who successfully slapped Khabib at a World Series of Fighting, WSOF Brawl, and as such, claims a victory over the undefeated ex-champion. This time around, Diaz and his camp were involved in a scuffle in Tampa at a ceremonial event for the upcoming boxing matches. Before Jake Paul and Tyron Woodley throw down in the main event, Diaz protege Chris Avila is scheduled to square off with Anthony Taylor on the preliminary card. The pair fought at Bellator 238 in January 2020, with Taylor winning a close decision, and it seems the bad blood isn't settled yet. Backing his boy alongside UFC fighter Nick Maximov, the Stockton crew got into something of a shoving match with Taylor, Bellator champion AJ McKee, and the rest of that team. Fortunately, it doesn't look like any real punches were landed in all the hubbub, so tomorrow's matchup should continue on without issue. TMZ Sports captured the chaos in the video above. Following the scuffle, Maximov summarized the situation, explaining, they tried to run up and they got themselves punked. Again, Anthony Taylor said it was, on site, and then he had his F. King tail between his legs. While much has been made about the final opponent for Nate Diaz's UFC contract, one has to wonder if his presence at a Jake Paul boxing match is not intentional. After all, a boxing match between Paul and Diaz would surely bring about a major number of pay-per-view PPV buys. We'll just have to wait and see if Diaz storms the ring after the main event. Punch the like button and kick the subscription bell.